Antonio Giovinazzi had a great Monaco Grand Prix last time out, but no one is really talking about it. It seems he's just invisible to most of the F1 fans and media. There are certain drivers that fans and the media praise a lot, but there are also sadly drivers that don't get recognized enough for what they do, and Antonio Giovinazzi is one of them. So, this is why Antonio Giovinazzi has fallen under the radar. Again. Antonio Giovinazzi is normally not a guy that people talk about a lot, and some people might argue that that is the case because he is driving for a lower midfield team. Though George Russell and Mick Schumacher for example get the attention for different reasons, plus even Antonio's teammate Kimi Raikkonen is often a hot topic in the paddock. Though not being talked about is probably not a big issue, but when your performances on track don't get recognized how they should be, that might be a bit more worrying, and sadly for Giovinazzi that was the case last time out in Monaco. Let's wind our heads back to last weekend. Alfa Romeo looked fairly strong over the course of the practice sessions and looked to be a candidate for the final part of qualifying, Q3. Antonio's teammate Kimi Raikkonen is a veteran in the sport and God knows how many laps he has driven in Monaco, with even winning the Grand Prix back in 2005 and being on pole in 2017, which shows that Kimi has still got it around the streets of Monte Carlo. But come qualifying, it was Giovinazzi who bossed it and managed to get into Q3, while Kimi was all the way down in P14. In the end, Antonio had to settle for P10 in qualifying, though considering that we were in Monaco, a track where qualifying is the most important of the whole year, P10 was a great starting position not only for him, but also for the Alfa Romeo team who, up until then, have not scored a point in the season yet. Now, onto the race on Sunday. Giovinazzi had a mediocre start but managed to get his position back with a beautiful move round the outside of Mirabeau, which would have been an important position. Giovinazzi was running comfortably in P9 until the pit stop phase, though Alfa Romeo pitted Giovinazzi on lap 33 while Esteban Ocon was close behind him and we know how powerful the overcut is in Monaco, especially this year, with Vettel and Perez being a prime example. But Alfa Romeo pitted Giovinazzi onto the hard tyres. We know the hard tyres are difficult to warm up, especially in Monaco, so in the end Esteban Ocon overcut Giovinazzi which ultimately could have definitely been avoided by Alfa Romeo. And this is not the first time that Alfa Romeo's strategy on Giovinazzi has not worked out and screwed him over. It happened on numerous occasions last year too, but no one seems to talk about it. Though back to Monaco now. In the end, Giovinazzi came home in P10 at the end to score Alfa Romeo's first points of the season with an incredible drive considering this was only the second time Antonio has raced in Monaco in an F1 car. So. All in all, he dominated his teammate Raikkonen over the course of the whole race weekend and never put a foot wrong. That is the reason it was a surprise for me that no one praised Giovinazzi for that drive. Everyone was talking about Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris, Sebastian Vettel and even Esteban Ocon. But not about Giovinazzi. He has fallen under the radar once again. And personally, I feel this is not the first time that that has happened. The Alfa Romeo car hasn't been one of the best even in the midfield over the last two years so we would expect it to be hard to score any points with that car. But drivers like George Russell get praised more often, but Giovinazzi has had brilliant races with Alfa Romeo, for example Austria race 1 last year, the Eiffel Grand Prix, the Brazilian Grand Prix in 2019 and especially Italy and Singapore 2019. Giovinazzi is a Ferrari junior which leaves me wondering why Scuderia Ferrari never said anything about Giovinazzi. If you've noticed, they never mention him, only when the media are interested in driver lineups. If you look at other teams like Mercedes or Red Bull especially, they mention and praise their young drivers or in Red Bull's case hit back at their drivers. But it just seems Antonio Giovinazzi is invisible for many including Scuderia Ferrari and has fallen under the radar numerous times. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this topic, do you feel the same? That would be it for today's video, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, see you next time, goodbye.